Today's video is an update to a video that I did a while back on using two 43 inch TVs, 4K TVs as your desktop setup for monitors. I have since then thrown one of them out and I'll get into that now and I replaced it with something else. So yeah, I hope you enjoy this. A while back I did a video on using two 43 inch TVs for your computer setup. And I set them up and I had a Philips and I had an LG and everything was beautiful. They were 4K, they were LED and they worked pretty well with my Mac and uh, my PC and every, I was getting good performance all around. And what happened was the LG, the more I did video editing and that type of thing, I realized that the LG's color was really, unless you were watching TV on it or Netflix or something like that, it was very washed out, it, very dull, sorry, not washed out, it was very dull. I found out that it was mainly due to the HDMI settings, it's got like a deep black setting for its HDMI um, input for PCs. I used that and it pretty much dulled the colors down quite a bit for me. For me, I don't know if this is sort of a general thing, but the LG was not giving me good colors for when I was doing video editing and that type of thing. So what I did was I got rid of it. So I decided to get something that I could use for HDR 10-bit color editing if I needed to. Uh, I mean, I'm not doing any of that type of thing now, but going forward, it would be a good idea to get something. And I knew that at least then I would get something that was really, really crisp colored. I eventually went for the Philips 49-inch, the entry level. Uh, it's, it's an Android smart TV. I'll have a link to the TV and its model and everything down below. The smallest one I could find was a 49 inch HDR 4K TV. And I didn't want to go for anything with a curved screen because I've heard, I don't know how true it is, but I've heard that the curved screen, unless you're actually sitting right smack in the middle of it, the, the colors are not so great and I move around a lot when I'm working. so. I wouldn't want anything curved screen. So I went in and got something flat screen and it turned out to be another Philips. So I have these two Philips now and the 49 inch is beautiful as far as color goes. You'll see as you drag the app around the edge of the screen that the lighting changes color and uh, shows you. It's basically what it does is wherever there's something happening along the edge of the screen It'll change the color on the back LED light to reflect whatever that color is. So if there's a big explosion on the left hand side of your screen, the lights will show there's yellows and reds flickering as the explosion happens along the left and so on. It's only on the left, right and top. There's nothing on the bottom. So, And it does add a little bit to it, but it's not the reason I got the TV, but it's nice to have. It's got Android Smart TV built in, so later on in the evenings when I've decided to chill out a bit I can crank up some Netflix walk in HDR it's also quite nice the main thing is that you can edit and see 10 bit HDR in video because the problem is, is that you shoot that type of high quality video and that who knows what colors you're actually adding to them and then we need to start doing your color correction so that's cool anyway there's just a little update on that video I'm really happy with this so far and I'll put all the details in below. I'll do another video in another six months or so after I've used it for a bit to see if it does everything that I want to do. But it's really nice having a screen that large. It's ridiculous as far as size go but you know as I said it, the specials were running and it was the cheapest one I could find. So I have that problem now that I was trying to avoid by having an LG and a Philips where I pick up one remote and go change my HDMI input to whatever, my Mac or my PC or something like that, and both of them pop up and go, right, which, which one would you like to change? So that's a bit of a problem. I've got around that problem by using the app for the TV, because the older TV doesn't have built-in smart TV function, so it doesn't have anything to control it like an app or something like that. Not that I'm aware of anyway. It's a bit of a workaround. I either have to do that or cover the sensor of the one while I'm trying to change the channel on the other. It's, I was trying to avoid that by getting two different makes of TV, but I've wound up with two same make Philips TVs. So I hope you enjoyed it and I'll catch you in the next one. Please subscribe. Bye bye.